Our Diana Olick was looking this morning at whether or not it's possible to build a fireproof house. We lost her audio earlier, but Diana, talk about what you've seen this morning. Absolutely, and we got it back. Look, you can see that one side burned. They put the fire out. The other side did not, and here's why. It's because of technology, design, landscaping. Instead of mulch, they had rocks. They had six-inch gap between the landscaping, the ground, and the house itself. They also used concrete fiberboard as the siding and you can actually get that to look like wood they had a different kind of gutter on that house that is metal instead of vinyl vinyl melts drops the embers onto the ground and ignites the house flying embers are what cause 90 percent of fire destruction not that wall of flame so it's the damaging embers you want to protect against the side on the right actually had a vent that would melt shut in a fire so that the embers would not fly into the home. And on the roof, again, those embers flying in and catching down. So you can, in fact, put these design components into a house and save a house. You can't make a house entirely fireproof, but you can make it fire resistant. And we know from last year, the most destructive on record for wildfires in California alone, $19 billion in residential and commercial damage to real estate and the rising risk risks of climate change to real estate. Back to you guys. Now, major implications uh, for home builders and consumers uh, and the planet, arguably, according to some. Uh, great work, Diana. Uh, Diana Olick.